here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made a homemade brioche loaf, and with that loaf, I made a banana pudding inspired French toast, and this was my 16-year-old brother's breakfast on a Monday. Up next, I made some shrimp scampi, and it's really easy to make, and I paired it with Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. For my favorite of the week, I made some blueberry cheesecake rolls, and I topped it with some blueberry syrup. And then I also made some homemade garlic twists that I paired with Sukini soup, and hopefully the recipe for the soup will be up tomorrow. I recreated the Trader Joe's Ube tea cookies just because I wanted to see if I could do it, and hopefully the finalized blueberry bagel recipe will be up on my page this week, and then also the finalized milk chocolate chip cookie is up on my page already. And hit the follow button if you'd like some more creative recipes. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made this loaded buffalo ranch burrito, and I also made this Philly cheesesteak stuffed pull apart bread, and this one is definitely my favorite in the entire video, it was so delicious. For my edible cookie dough series, I made a Reese's peanut butter cup edible cookie dough. And now here we have a French onion soup inside of homemade bread bowls, and I also added some garlic bread on top as well. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Snickerdoodles, because Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my all-time favorite cereal. And here we have some cheese katayaf, and I'm dipping it in some katar, or simple syrup in English. And for my fail of the week, I tried to make my rose bread in some matcha rose bread, but for some reason, it just doesn't bake well. I guess I just have to work on the bread recipe a little bit more. Um, it looks beautiful, beautiful, before- I English is my first language. English is my first language. It just doesn't sound like it sometimes. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys liked everything you saw. If you did, the recipes are on my page. Have a good day. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made avocado toast and I shaped my avocado into a rose and I also added ricotta cheese and smoked salmon. I made the fluffiest edible cookie dough and I probably made it like three times throughout the week because it's that good. I also made blueberry scones and it was supposed to be a test recipe day but they came out way better than I expected so I just posted it. For my fruit series, I made a tropical smoothie inside of a cantaloupe and it tasted just like I would imagine a raspberry sour patch kid tasting like and it came out so good. And for my first video for my Ramadan series, I made stuffed grape leaves, and even though they're time-consuming, they're always worth it in the end. I took a video of me actually flipping the grape leaves, but somehow I deleted it, but I did end up getting this clip. And lastly, for my test recipe day, I'm testing out a new recipe with mango, so stay tuned for that. And all of the other recipes are on my page if you'd like to learn how to make them. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, on Monday, I made these delicious bagel bites with a cream cheese dip. On Tuesday, I made turtle conchas, which the flavors were matcha and chocolate. I was incredibly happy with how they came out, they turned out so cute. And now on to my favorite thing I've made this entire week, I made these jam and cream cheese filled fluffy butter rolls. Jam and cream cheese is just the ultimate flavor combination. And on Thursday, I made a French inspired bread loaf, and with that bread loaf, I made extra cheesy garlic bread. And lastly, on Saturday, I baked an orange cake inside of a fresh orange peel, and I topped it with buttercream and more berries. And of course, all of the recipes are on my page. Here's everything that I've made in my kitchen this week. To begin, I made KFC's natural hot chicken tenders, but 10 times better because everything better, everything's better when it's homemade. I forgot how to speak English. Anyways, I also made some homemade hummus and I paired it with some homemade falafel. So if you're a breakfast for dinner type person like I am, those two recipes are perfect for you and you can find them on my page. And if you're a Texas Roadhouse lover, I made the cinnamon honey butter so you guys can whip that up at home if you'd like. Here are some homemade bagels just because I love the process of making bagels and I turned them into pizza bagels. And to pair with our cinnamon butter, I also made the Texas Roadhouse rolls, but 10 times better, because look at how fluffy they are. Here's everything that I made in my kitchen this week. I made some garlic and herb cheese bread, which probably was my favorite thing I made this week. Homemade bread rolls with creamy Cajun shrimp pasta. Crispy smashed potatoes that I served with chipotle mayo, and they came out so delicious. I made chipotle cilantro lime rice, because who doesn't love it? As well as matcha milk bread, and I showed you guys how I make my oatmeal. More fun recipes coming next week. Here's everything that I made in my kitchen this week made some buffalo chicken egg rolls as well as some twisted pretzels with homemade cheese sauce i love how these came out a soft and buttery milk bread loaf probably my favorite bread recipe i've made this week as well as some shrimp fried rice that i paired with mongolian chicken now here are some salted peanut butter cup chocolate chip cookies you guys don't understand how amazing these were also made copycat king's hawaiian rolls and they came out perfect pretty sure everybody grew up eating them so i had to recreate them and lastly i made some avocado ranch and soft butter rolls all the recipes are on my page, and more creative recipes coming next week. 